List T consists of 30 positive decimals, none of which is an integer, and the sum of the 30 decimals is S. The estimated sum of the 30 decimals E is defined as follows. In each decimal T, whose tenth digit is even is rounded up to the nearest integer, and each decimal in T, whose tenth digit is odd, is rounded down to the nearest integer. E is the sum of the resulting integers. If a third of the integer, third of the decimals in T have a tenth digit that is even, which of the following is a possible value of E minus S? So let's think about this a little bit. If we have a decimal with an even tenth digit, well, that could be as small as 1.00001. That would get rounded up to 2. And if we have a decimal of 0.899999, that also gets rounded up to 2. So in the first one, we're adding approximately 1. In the second, we're adding approximately 1 tenth or 0.1. And so that means that in that particular case, estimated minus the real is going to be between one tenth and one for any, any one decimal that has an even tenths digit. If it has an odd tenths digit, well then it could be 1.1, it's rounded down to one. It could also be 1.999999 that's also rounded down to one. And so essentially what we're doing is we're subtracting one tenth or we're subtracting one. And so that means that E minus S is going to be bigger than negative one and smaller than negative one tenth. So now I know a third of the decimals have an even tenth digit. So I have 10 that have an even tenth digit and that means 20 of them have an odds tenth digit. So I'm going to take this, the inequality for even digits, and multiply it by 10. So for that one, 1 greater than the e minus s is less than 10. So the sum of those 10 numbers, the difference between the estimated and the real, is going to be somewhere between 1 and 10. I'm going to take this second inequality for the odds and multiply it by 20. So this is going to be negative 20. And then on the other side, I'm going to have negative 2. And I know that the sum of these 20 integers with odd tenths digits has to be the difference between the real and the estimate has to be somewhere between negative 20 and negative 2. Now to get the whole sum of all 30, I'm just going to add everything together. So that means that the difference between the estimated and the real has to be somewhere between 8 and negative 19. That's what I get when I add these inequalities. And so all the possible values have to be in that range. 16 is in that range. 6 is in that range. 10 is not in that range. So answers 2 and 3 are allowed. And this is answer choice B.